Hi, good morning, Robert Medlin here. I want to encourage you this morning to be bold about your faith, uh, about uh, your belief that Jesus will answer your prayers. I'll tell you a, a little uh, testimony. Diane and I were, my wife and I were down in Louisiana and uh, to preach at some uh, revival meetings there and also to visit some family. And uh, we were checking into a motel. And so I was bringing in some bags or something and I noticed one of the housekeepers there was was groaning and was holding her back and I said what's going on and she said she said, oh, I hurt my back she said I, it's really in a lot of pain and I said uh, if you'll just go down room number nine my wife is down there if you just go down to room number nine I said Jesus will heal you let her pray for you and Jesus will heal you and so oh probably 30 minutes later uh, Diana and I are in our room we hear this knock at the door and so there she is she brought one of her friends which was wise to do and so she came down for prayer so uh, Diana prayed for her and, and Jesus instantly took all the pain away she was instantly healed she was totally free she'd been suffering for for several days with this with this condition in her back and she was just totally free totally excited and so we just had a little revival meeting right there in the room and so uh, they left and then uh, it just ignited a revival right there in the mo in in the motel because oh in a in a hour or two we get another we get another knock at the door and here's here's some more people there and they need prayer about something else and this went on for for some time where people were just showing up at our door knocking on the door they had heard about uh, this miracle they had heard that Jesus was answering prayer and so uh, they were just coming to our door we were praying for kids to be kid, kid lost kids to be saved we were praying for husbands to be restored we were praying for all kinds of things people weren't coming just for healing they were coming just because of desperate answers they needed prayers they needed their their prayers answered they were desperate and so they heard jesus was answering prayers and so they were so excited and so uh, i just want to encourage you that this is not special just for for certain people that that uh, the whole world is really needing jesus jesus is good news and so when jesus came uh he, he told us to go and preach the good news, you know, and the good news is that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He paid for our sins. Uh, if we believe in him, our sins are forgiven. We're going to heaven. And not only that, uh, he'll answer our prayers. And so uh, uh, people people need Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to to heal the brokenhearted, to preach the good news to the poor, to, to deliver the oppressed, to release the oppressed, to heal the blind. And so Jesus came to, to not only to save us uh, eternally, which is the primary thing, but also to set us free from oppression. You know, in, in Acts 10, 38, it says, it says uh, uh, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and he went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. And so people that are, people that are oppressed by the devil in all kinds of ways, either in their body or mentally or, or through things going on in their, with their loved ones or their job or whatever, uh, they're just needing answers for prayer. And I want to encourage you that Jesus said that whatever things you desire when you pray, believe you have received it and you will have it. And, and so we have to be positive when we, when we talk to people, you know, uh, we don't, we're not timid. I didn't say, well, you know, I'm, Jesus might heal you. I don't know if you go down there and give it a try, you know, let my wife pray for you and give it a try, you know, <laughs> you know, that kind of, that kind of praying won't work because they won't build any faith. Uh, what builds faith is that Jesus, yes, he will. Yes, he, he answers. Yes, yes, he is willing. Yes, he said he would do it. And and, and that's all we need to say, you know. And so uh, uh, and that's what that's what will inspire faith to receive. So just want to encourage you that it, for yourself, too, that uh, that Jesus said that that those who believe in him, they would lay hands on the sick and they would recover. And so uh, that includes that. That's not just ministers. He said, Jesus said, these signs will accompany. This is Mark 16. Jesus said, these signs will accompany those who believe. And so you're one of those believed. And he he is faithful, you know. And, and if you can you, if you can encourage someone's faith, you have to encourage someone's faith. Uh, tell them about Jesus, that Jesus is willing to do. He's willing to heal. He's willing to answer our prayers. And uh and that's one of the reasons we like to tell people about Jesus. Many times the response, we tell about a miracle that, that we've seen in our ministry or in our lives. And many times the response is, will you pray for me about something totally different, uh, totally unrelated, that, that they're, they're filled with faith and they, they believe that Jesus would answer that prayer. Would you pray for me and pray for this and pray for that? And so be bold, you know, that uh, 
uh, be bold yourself, you know, to pray boldly that Jesus said that, you know, the, the man with leper came to Jesus and said, Lord, if you're willing, he says, you can heal me. Jesus, you know what Jesus told him? He said, I am willing. And Jesus doesn't show favoritism. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so he told that, he told that man, I am willing, be healed. And so uh, the only question that leper has was, was whether Jesus was willing or not. Jesus said, that I'm willing. And so just be bold to pray for people. Tell them that you believe that, that uh, uh, if, you'll let, if, if you'll let them, uh, if, you'll, if they'll let you pray for them, that, that Jesus will, will answer their prayer, will give you whatever it is you're needing, whether it's healing or a financial miracle or a miracle of, of a loved one being saved or, or rescuing a loved one or, or something or, or getting a job or whatever. If you'll be bold and just, just declare, I believe Jesus will answer my prayer. I'm, when we prayed, Jesus said he would answer it. And so uh, get people to, if you can get people to let you, with a spirit of faith, you know, Jesus will. Jesus said that whatever things we desire, he would give it to us. And so be bold with your with your faith and and uh, your your confession because that's really your that's really representing Jesus accurately. If we go around saying, "Well, I'm not sure," you know, "I'm not sure he'll do this," "I'm not sure he'll do that," well, you know, that doesn't spark any faith in anybody, and nobody's going to get results from praying like that. But if you if you have confidence that Jesus said, "Yes, I will do it," if you whatever you desire, I will do it, you know, all you have to do is believe. So, so uh, really, Jesus said that he's he's putting it on us. And so it starts with our mouth, our confession. Yes, Jesus will do it, and be bold and courageous. And uh, and if you get people to let you to, that, that will let you pray for them, you can be confident that Jesus is going to give them a miracle. And so uh, whether you're praying for healing or whatever, so I just want to encourage you that uh, that to be bold, uh, that Jesus will. Jesus said, "I'm willing. I'm willing. I, I'm willing to do it." So uh, to be bold in your prayers for yourself and others, and you'll see miracles too. Well, God bless you and have an awesome day.